Um, my name is Dr. Sarah Fitzgibbon. I'm a GP in the north side of Cork City and I'm the founder of the Women in Medicine in Ireland Network. Yeah, so it, when we're looking at, at healthcare for women, again, bearing in mind that nearly all research um, for the past 1700 years uh, has been based on the, the norm of the male body. So, so much of the research that would have been done um, would have been, we'll say if they're you know, drug testing or testing a particular uh, therapeutic intervention, it's always on uh, young men. This is the, uh, I suppose, um, process that would have been gone through for many, many years. Part of the idea of that was that it would be uh, dangerous in some way to be experimenting, for want of a better word, on uh, women of reproductive age and potentially looking at the effects of medications on you know, the teratogenicity or the, you know, affecting the fetus if a woman uh, was pregnant. At the same time, that means then that there has been no research on what might happen if a woman was pregnant when, when a medication was given or when a particular intervention was carried out which has then resulted in this idea of women who may or may not be pregnant being excluded from any type of trial or any type of uh, new intervention or being told we don't know what will happen you have to take the risk yourself or that as a gp if i'm prescribing something to a pregnant woman i can say that it seems unlikely that this will cause you any harm because this many women have taken it anecdotally but there isn't any you know proper solid uh, case control research done on this particular product for, for pregnant women.